Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser, here to answer the question, can you laser it? Today, I'm going to attempt to laser eggshells. Can they be laser engraved and cut? Let's find out. I have gathered together many different types of eggshells. These have been hollowed out. I have ostrich egg shells, brown eggs, white eggs, as well as a couple white colored eggs that I have put together. To increase the stability of the eggs, I'm also going to take some standard wax pellets, melt them down, and then use a syringe to inject the wax inside the eggs, let it harden so that I have a much more durable surface to work with, and I am not damaging or cracking these eggs during my testing process. Let's go ahead and get started running a Speedy 360 80 watt, running at 100% power, 40 speed, 1000 hertz, and 330 DPI. We're gonna be using a rotary and a two and a half inch lens so we have enough clearance in order to engrave on the egg surface while clearing the cones on the rotary. As you can see, the engraving process is outstanding, producing a high contrast, whitish looking response onto the surface of the brown egg in this case. Now let's run the same process on a white eggshell. As you can see, the white eggshell using the same parameter settings are turning kind of a brownish marking look. It's amazing to me that a brown eggshell will turn white and a white eggshell will turn brown. This is not something I would have expected, but who am I to argue with these results? Now let's go ahead and engrave a white egg that has been dyed blue. Strange enough, the results are actually turning white. Um, so that means a brown egg turns white, a white egg turns brown, but yet a white egg dyed blue turns white? Strange things are happening here with the laser. Now let's go ahead and scale things up with an ostrich egg. Let's go ahead and try engraving an ostrich egg. We're going to do this at a much higher power, 100% power, 40 speed, 1000 hertz at 600 DPI. I'm also using the rotary with the 4 inch lens. Um, and as you can see, I'm getting some black spotting on the surface of the egg. This is caused by my focus being incorrect. So what I have done is while it's engraving, I'm actually adjusting the Z height on the fly. So it's moving the Z up and down until I found the sweet spot. Now I now have a black spot that I need to take care of. So I'm going to change the focus and let's run a second pass with my new found Z height because it's really difficult to find the correct focus point with this much curvature. That's also why I used a four inch lens. A four inch lens has a much greater tolerance. In addition, the second pass is also brightening it up. It's turning much brighter white and producing a stunning looking finished result. So there you go. We get a kind of a silvery, darker silver looking engraving into the surface of an ostrich egg using considerably more power than a chicken egg. I did not fill this with wax because it is a very durable, but I do want to dye this a different color. So I'm going to drop this into a tank of blue dye, and this is the results I saw come out of it. For some reason, the dye didn't actually penetrate down inside the engraving, but only the surface, producing a stunningly beautiful finished result. So we now have the answer to that question. Will eggshells engrave? The answer is yes, and they are beautiful if done correctly. But we do have an open question now. Can eggshells be cut? Let's now go ahead and go back to the drawing board and find out. So let's find out if these eggshells will cut. Let's do it on a Speedy 360 80 watt at 15 power two speed using the rotary and a two and a half inch lens, cutting just a basic circle and square pattern around the equator of the egg. Um, initial results look, look encouraging. When I did this, um, the parts had to be popped out, but around the equator, I got a decent looking cut, a little bit of charring on the edge, um, but the stability was good. Um, I did not use the waxed filled eggs for this due to the fact that um, I, I didn't want that excess heat to kind of melt that wax. Um, we'll try it both ways, um, but let's do, try something a little bit more detailed. So I'm going to take that same graphic and let's cut three different rows all the way through. My, Concern is just this. What happened when I did this is the stability of the egg and the pressure of the rotary without the wax inside caused the egg to actually collapse. This next test, I'm gonna try flat. 
without utilizing the rotary on a speedy 400 120 watt running 70 power five speed speed 1000 hertz and two passes per cut um, the two passes with a standard two inch lens focused slightly to the average um, and i got a decent result the result is actually pretty decent looking I was able to turn the egg around, cut the same pattern again, so that I actually have a cut on both sides, producing a pretty decent looking finished result. Now I'm gonna give it one more try, this time filling the egg with wax, letting it solidify, and then cutting it with a little bit less power and one additional pass. So instead of two passes, let's do three passes with a standard two inch lens. What I found is the wax actually absorbs excess laser power. It does melt out, but it doesn't seem to interfere with the surface of the cut process, or it doesn't interfere with the cut process. And I'm able to get more stability out of the surface of the egg. By doing this, I get more detail out of the actual cut process. To melt the at wax out, all I did is I put it into a tank of hot wax until the wax melted out. I gently pulled the egg out of the hot wax for the finished result. I then spray painted the surface of this egg with some metallic spray paint to make it really pop. There we have it. We now have the answer. Can you laser engrave and cut eggshells? The answer is yes, and they are beautiful. If you have something that you would like to see me try, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I'll laser next. We'll see you next time.